What kind of weird monstrosity am I looking at right now? Hi everyone, and welcome to Fossil of the Week. My name is Hunter Schrader, and this week we have maybe the weirdest fossil we've shown you guys yet. You're looking at it and you go, is this an alien? Is this a weird rejected sci-fi animal? No, it's actually a turtle. Its name is Alien Ocellus, which means strange turtle, because when they found it, they looked at it and they were like, what even is this? It doesn't look like most turtles. And in just a moment, we're going to go look at a more familiar turtle and you can see the differences as soon as I can get out of here. Yes, I have a college degree. What you're looking at right now is a pretty average turtle from the Green River Formation. You can see here, take quick note of how this looks because what we're about to look at looks nothing like this. Now that you've seen what just about the average turtle looks like, you'll notice the big differences in this guy. Probably the first one you'll see here is the beak, which looks really weird. And that's probably because this guy's is more designed for crushing shelled organisms rather than just soft body things like a lot of turtles. The eyes are also really different. I can't even imagine what those eyeballs look like. It actually keeps me up at night to think about that. But then also the nostrils are really weird too. Different than a lot of turtles, especially modern turtles. And I have no paper to prove this, but I'm pretty sure this guy could fit at least 15 oranges in his mouth. Maybe 16. I used to think that Alien Ocellus was closely related to a leatherback sea turtle. But fairly recently, they've kind of come to the consensus, most paleontologists, that he's actually more closely related to Archelon. He's the biggest sea turtle who ever lived. That's about all we have to say about this strange turtle. But before you guys go, you seem to really, really like the last drawing I did. So I decided to spend over half of the less than 15 minutes I get of prep time before we film each one of these to draw you guys another one. Now, you'll notice here I've got the average turtle and then our boy right here. This is not exactly to scale, and you may notice that he has eyebrows. That is not scientifically accurate, even in the slightest bit. But right before we filmed this, Peyton said, hey, he'd look much cooler if he was angry. Please like and subscribe.